All right, now let's look at problem number 17. Uh, number 17 is another optimization problem. For, so first, let's just read the problem together and get a feel for what we're trying to do. And so problem number 17 says, a square-based box-shaped shipping crate has a volume of 16 cubic feet. The material used to make the base costs twice as much as the material in the sides, and the material used to make the top costs half as much as the material in the sides. What dimensions of the crate minimize the cost of the materials? All right, so a uh, couple things we can do here. First, we can start out by drawing a picture of this crate, and the key thing I see here is it's box-shaped, but it's square-based. So if we were going to draw a picture here, So the base of this thing is a square, and so we could call this side x, we could call this side x, and then we have some height on this thing. Uh, let's just call the height y. Okay, so these are the dimensions of this crate that we're dealing with. And um, so now that we've drawn a picture and labeled some things with appropriate labels, now we need to ask the all-important question in optimization problems, and I kid you not, you get this part right, and you will get more optimization problems right than ever. And it's just ask the question, what is it I'm trying to make big? What is it I'm trying to make small? And so you look through the whole problem again, and we've got to find what is it I'm trying to make big or small here? Well, it says it right at the end. It says, what dimensions of the crate minimize the cost? So I want to minimize cost. I want to make cost small. So I need an equation for the cost of the materials to build this crate. Okay, so if I want to figure out how much it costs to build this crate, well, I've got to build all the different sides. I've got to build the four sides. I've got to build the top. I've got to build the bottom. And what I'm told is it costs double as much for the materials for the bottom as for the sides and half as much for the top. So I'm just going to consider that the cost of building a side is one. I don't know what the cost is. It's something. But I don't really care. I just know that I've got to build these four sides. So, and then I've got to build the top and I've got to build the bottom. Now, if I'm just building the sides, how many sides are there? There are four sides, and they each cost x, y to build times some cost. Okay, then I've got to build the bottom. Well, the bottom, there's an x times x amount of material that needs to be built, but it costs double what the other material costs. So I'm going to put in, I need to build an x, x side, but it costs double. And then I've got to build the top, which is also an x, x side, but it costs half what this side costs. So the cost of building this thing is going to be 4xys plus 2xxs plus a half of an xx. Or if you prefer, I could write that the cost is uh, 4xy plus uh, 2 and a half, or if you prefer, 5 halves x squared. Now, we have a problem because we have an x and a y in our cost function, and we would really like there to just be one of those two, just x's or just y's. It doesn't so much matter which, but I just need one of them. So now it's when I ask the question, okay, I've got my cost function, what I'm trying to minimize, and I'm trying to ask the question now, okay, how can I get this in one variable? So I look for extra information in the problem that I haven't used yet. So now is when I go back and I say, okay, is there anything else that I know here? And there is. I know that the 
volume of this crate needs to be 16 cubic feet. So what is the volume of this crate? Well, the sides are x, x, and y. So x squared y is the volume of this crate. And I know that the volume of this crate needs to be 16. So now I can solve this thing for x or for y, whichever I choose. But there is a better choice. Notice up here I have x's, I have x squareds, but I just have one y. So I think that I'll solve for y here and not for x, because it's going to make my life a lot easier. So I'm going to solve for y, and I get that y is equal to 16 over x squared. And now I'm going to take this y and plug it in for y up here, which would give me that my cost is equal to 4 times x times y. But now we know that y is 16 over x squared plus 5 halves times x squared. Uh, let's simplify this a little bit here. So 4 times 16 is 64. So I have 64. And one of the x's cancels here. So I have 64 over x plus 5 halves x squared. So now I have a cost function, and it's in one variable. Now that I have the thing that I want to make small in one variable, now I can use calculus to figure out where the local max or min is. Okay, In this case, the local minimum. So let's take this thing, set it equal to 0, solve for x, and see what we get. All right. Um, let me just erase the problem here. Remember, we're trying to find the dimensions of the crate. So I'd really like to know what x and y are at the end of the day. So now what we really need to do is we need to take the derivative of this guy, set it equal to 0, solve for x, and see what comes out. So let's take the derivative of this cost function, and we get dc dx, which is equal to, um, let's see, the derivative here would be negative 64 over x squared, and the derivative here is 5x. All right, now let's set that equal to 0. And we get that 0 equals negative 64 over x squared plus 5x. Move this to the other side, and I get 64 over x squared is equal to 5x. Cross multiply, and I get 64 is equal to 5x cubed. Uh, so 64 over 5 is equal to x cubed. And x would be equal to 4 over the cube root of 5. OK, so this is the x value that we are looking for in this problem. Uh, and I'm trying to find the dimensions of this thing. So the dimensions are x by x by y. And I know what that x is. It's 4 over the cube root of 5. So what is the y value? Well, that's some of my extra information, right? I know that x squared times y is 16. So since I know that x squared times y is 16, and x is 4 over the cube root of 5, then I get 4 over the cube root of 5 squared times y is 16. Then what is y? Well, that would say that 16 over uh, 5 to the 2 thirds power is equal to 16. And uh, I can divide both sides by 16, and I just get that 1, uh, let's see, I forgot a y in there. There's a y. Uh, so let's cross multiply this thing, and I get that 16y is equal to 16 times 
5 to the 2 thirds power. Divide both sides by 16 and I get that y is equal to 5 to the 2 thirds power. So, uh, what is it that is going to uh, give me my optimal cost for building this crate? Well, I have an x times x times y are my dimensions. So I'm going to have x, uh, 4 over cube root of 5 by 4 over cube root of 5 by 5 to the 2 thirds. So my optimal dimensions are 4 over cube root 5 by 4 over cube root 5 by 5 to the 2 thirds power. And that would be the optimal dimensions for this box.